Right now, Zion Williamson is the talk of the NBA. He has yet to play for the New Orleans Pelicans this season, and there is no set date for his comeback. Former teammate JJ Redick has referred to him as a detached teammate. All of this fueled trade rumors is surrounding the young superstar and first round pick in the 2019 NBA draft. The Brooklyn Nets are one team that might be engaged in a prospective deal. So here are two reasons why the Nets should trade for Zion Williamson this summer. Up first we have because they could have a future superstar team. Right now, the Nets are up against the team. True, Kevin Durant and Ben Simmons are missing, and Kyrie Irving can still only play away games, but they have a tremendously powerful squad. In essence, KD must be used by the Nets as soon as possible. He's 33 years old and playing fantastic minutes despite a lengthy injury history. However, if the Nets want to compete after Durant, they'll have to go whatever length to obtain Zion Williamson as quickly as feasible. They'll look terrific in the future with him. Despite his physical problems, Williams is still only 21 years old. Due to certain internal concerns in New Orleans and quiet from his camp, we can't even say whether his ailments this year are truly significant or whether the player is hoping for a move in the future. If he signs with the Nets, he will join a lineup that includes a 25-year-old Ben Simmons and a 20-year-old rookie in Cam Thomas. They may be joined by Kyrie Irving, who is only 29 years old, and Kessler Edwards, a second round pick in the 2021 NBA Draft, who is currently playing well for the Nets. Of course, while Edwards and Thomas might be rotational players, the Simmons-Irving-Williamson quartet is the cream of the crop. That would certainly be an easy transition for Durant, who was likely to finish out the contract he recently signed with the Nets and then retire due to age and ailments. Of course, if Durant is still able to play, the prospect of Durant joining the aforementioned group, even if in a limited position due to age, is tantalizing. Now, this is all speculative, and we've seen some ostensibly super teams fail in the past. The Nets had one failed try at a super team in the past, but this time, it's different. Simmons is still in his prime, as is Zion, but they both had terrific seasons in the league. In his lone complete NBA season, Williamson was an all-star while Simmons was a perennial defensive player of the year candidate who can still facilitate and distribute the ball with the best of them. If they are surrounded with the shooters, the Nets may be a title contender. Up next we have, there will never be another chance to get such a good player at such a low price. The most bizarre aspect of Zion Williamson's scenario is that if the Pelicans understand that everything is lost with him and they'll need to move him, they'll be completely robbed. He currently has two years left on his contract and is still on the rookie scale, which means that he will take slightly more than $23 million over the next two years, including this season. This makes it very easy for clubs throughout the league to match salaries, and the Nets, for example, do not have to expand any of their veterans relevant to their squad in order to acquire Zion. People often forget that the Warriors were able to sign KD in the 2016-2017 summer not only because the cap had risen, but also because of team-friendly contracts for their superstars. If the Nets sign Williamson, his salary over the next two years will provide some financial flexibility, especially if Kyrie Irving is included in the deal. That would be significant for them, as it would imply that another young superstar or deep bench of veterans may be added to the club, strengthening their position as title contenders. Now, we must add that, all of the recent developments in the NBA, the Pelicans are losing leverage. If they made Williamson available to the public, the Nets and any other team in the league would almost certainly send proposals that are not with his ability. The offers would be extremely cheap, likely involving one or two first round picks, some veterans, and possibly a young gun of some kind. Of course, the Pelicans have the ability to reject all bids, and they may keep Williamson for up to six years if they exercise his team option next year and then match an offer made by an enemy team. That, however, would be only keeping a plainly dissatisfied athlete and then losing him for free as soon as he had the opportunity to depart. Overall, Zion Williamson is a fantastic player with some difficulties with his franchise. If those issues are resolved, he has the potential to be a future MVP in this league. One option to resolve this for Williamson is to be traded, and the Nets must seize this opportunity. If he becomes available and the Nets are no longer in contention, they may lose their championship window in the coming year. If they can't get him, the Nets may be a contender for years to come. So guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification so you never miss a video. I'll see you guys next time and have a great day. Peace.